justified by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has done mighty things for us. One of the things that the blood of Jesus has done for us is that it has justified us. Romans chapter 5 verses 8 and 9 But God demonstrates his own love towards us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. This is very interesting because we've spoken about the fact that the blood of Jesus is our atonement, which means that it has covered our sin and we have been acquitted. We have uh, been let go. No longer uh, is God holding uh, sin against us, but through the blood of Jesus, uh, that sin is now covered. But these scriptures also tell us that we have been justified. We have been justified through the blood of Jesus. Uh, the Greek for justified is uh, dikaiosis and this word means that this is the act of pronouncing righteous so not only has God released us because of the work of the blood but God has justified us he has pronounced us righteous so God is not looking at us as sinners uh, now you are forgiven uh, you are free but think about this God clothes us with a robe uh, and now he calls us righteous he does not just call us forgiven sinners but he calls us his children he calls us righteous and how is that possible it's possible through the blood of Jesus the blood of Jesus has justified us so as we enter the presence of God, now we're entering the presence knowing that God, now I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm not, not just a sinner who has been forgiven, but God, thank you that you have changed my status, O oh God. Uh, thank you, O oh God, that you being the judge, oh God is the righteous judge. He's not just said that, you know, you don't have to be in prison anymore, but he calls us a prince and he calls us uh, a princess and he embraces us as his children. And this is a powerful truth. As we uh, have an understanding of this, we can, we can live our lives with a sense of uh, peace, with a sense of assurance, knowing uh, that God loves us so dearly that, that he has changed our lives, he's changed our status. And this truth is also something that we've got to uh, rejoice in. So the blood of Jesus has justified us. We're able to stand in the presence of God and we, we're able to worship Him. We're able to uh, relate with Him boldly. We're able to call Him Abba Father uh, only because sin's power has been broken. Uh, and, and the blood of Jesus calls us righteous. The blood of Jesus has justified us. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that uh, you have justified us, O oh God, through your blood. And God, as we come into your presence, O oh God, we come with boldness, knowing that we are no longer slaves, O oh God, but we are your children. Uh, and God, you have uh, given, you have dignified us, Father God, through your work on the cross. And so, Father, we, we come before you knowing that, God, you extend every grace, Lord, every blessing toward, our, toward us. Lord, we, we thank you. We thank you, God, that, Lord, we can approach you uh, as your justified children. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.